Good morning, my great people. I thought I'd show you this job. It's quite an interesting one whereby it has been narrowed down to the boiler, keep tricking, tripping the main RCD. So I'm going to go in. Someone's been here before me. I believe the pump has been changed already because it seemed like it was that and it's not that. It's, so let's have a look. It looks like it's still tripping when the fan is plugged out as well. So let's have a look. So it's a Valen Ecotech Plus 831. Power off at the moment. And I've exposed the board. So yeah, there's a new pump in there. First thing I do personally is I just disconnect everything. So we've got nothing in there. And then we should be able to see what is tripping it and what's not tripping it. Leave the earth in there. Might as well disconnect the display board as well. So everything's disconnected from the board. So in theory, that shouldn't blow at all. Obviously, we'll put this back in live neutral enough. Don't know why I took that out, but yeah. So the board should get power on its own with no tripping. Then next we'll put the display board in, just do things one by one. So interestingly, when the live neutral and earth was plugged in, it's still blue. So that meant that could possibly be a circuit board, because nothing else is plugged in. But now I've disconnected all of this. So there's literally nothing else on the board. This is switched on. This is the switch for the boiler. It's blowing straight away. If we go back to the switch for the boiler, turn that off. Staying on. So I've changed the fuse in there, so it was a 13 amp, but it's still blowing. So now I'm gonna wire this down to that plug and see if it's a problem with the fuse spur. Now wired the end of a plug and we have power. Let's see if the boiler runs. So I'm gonna guess it's a fuse spur issue. Sounds like it's got air in it, but let's get the power off and change that fuse spare. So I'm at that point now where you just can't see the wood for the trees and you're starting to get a little bit frustrated. So to recap, we've checked the boiler. That's obviously fine because that's been wired in off of a plug and it's staying on. So it's obviously something to do with the wiring. Now I'm checking down the back there to see if there's any breaks in cables or anything. And I've come across something. 
So you should hear about it right about now. Found on the back there, a dead mouse and a leaking zone valve. So now let's go switch RCD back on. I've disconnected that zone valve. Funny feeling, it might be that. Yeah, there's your problem. It's your zone valve. Let's see if I can get in there properly and see. So that was quite an enjoyable one. Thank you for watching. It was nice to get your brain working a little bit. Um, start of winter now, so I guess a lot of these are gonna come. And yeah, well, not the same problem, but a lot of different things are gonna start coming in, which is nice, not just servicing. It's also nice for me to be able to make different kinds of content and different videos on a whole range of stuff, which is quite good for hopefully you guys as well. So as a little rundown on that one, what I do with electrical faults, if there's blowing fuses, I generally strip everything back and start from the beginning, take it all out and then one by one, put things in and see what blows. Then you can narrow down exactly what the issue is. This one was slightly different and I kind of led myself up the garden path, possibly a little bit because somebody else had been there beforehand. So I took a couple of bits and pieces for granted. To be fair, what, what they done was fine and spot on, but yeah, it, um, you just got to look around. Always check when you've got electrical faults for any signs of leaking onto electrical components. That's a big one internally to the boiler and externally. Often you get it with pumps and whatnot, but this one especially was Honeywell's own valve leaking out the middle of the spindle, which also got into the motor. So that was blowing the fuse every time. Um, yeah, quite tricky to see that one as well because it's tucked right behind. And it is a combi boiler. Um, so often you're not even looking for zone valves. Although there was underfloor heat in there. But yeah, got to the end of it. That's that. Honeywell zone valve causing it. Customer's happy. I'm happy. And hopefully you're happy. So see you next week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, it's really helpful. Appreciate all your time. Appreciate you all watching. See you later. <coughs>